I am in... I never remember these names. Where am I? I gotta look at my Google map. Okay, located. I'm in rural Wisconsin. I guess that's a town or a city. We're an incorporated. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm at Rustic Road 23. We're gonna do this route. It says it's three miles. So, and it's close to Hartman State Park, I believe. If not, we'll be getting close to that. So, we'll take you along for the ride. Apparently, we got bikers. That's awesome. Maybe they're doing it, maybe they're not doing it. That's fun. So these are supposed to be very unpopulated roads. But apparently not. <laughs> Everybody wants to get out and ride, which I would be too. And I'm parked on the wrong side of the road, but I gotta get the picture of the sign and the bike to make sure I was here. And you guys know I was here. So let's go on the route. Ugh. I hate putting the kickstand in the sand. All right, my GoPro died, so so that's fun. Oh, okay. All right, ready? Let's go. Okay, playing chicken with the car. That would be fun. All right, let's go. I'm liking that all of the ones that I've done today. Are, gra are not gravel because those are super, super fun. So yeah. I wonder if that bike biker group is just doing these rustic roads or they're just around the area and they know the roads. I don't know. It's fun to be able to do this just for myself, but also if you can do it with a whole bunch of people, I think that makes it even more fun. The hardest part, how oh, cool. Wow, your house is literally right next to the creek. <laughs> but 55 miles an hour, <laughs> that's fun. These are cool bridges. Kayaking. Oh, I need to get my kayak out. Anybody else kayak? So my husband bought a... Uh, oops, that was supposed to stop. <laughs> my husband bought myself a field and stream. It's like a 12 foot kayak. And <laughs> it's rough getting that baby up on my car. Like that sucker is heavy. Alright, ready go. Here. But now that it's getting warmer out, I feel a little more comfortable riding. Or not riding. I feel more comfortable kayaking now because if I fall in, it's not going to be freezing cold. So I gotta let the lake or the waters warm up just a smidge so it doesn't feel as bad if I do go topside. So yeah. This would be super cool in the summer. I'm like, oh, I'm waiting for it to happen because all of these trees are just gonna be filled with leaves and you've got the coverage. Then we're on those hot summer days. It's just a perfect little like cocoon around you. I don't know how to describe it. Kind of like a cave tunnel. Not a better option, uses of words. <sighs> Follow the brown and yellow signs. Oh, there's another one here? Holy shoot. Okay, I must have missed one. I gotta turn around eventually. All right, so let's finish 23. We'll go back for 24. I bet you that's the one I was supposed to go to next. So I have them mapped out on my Google Maps on my, on my phone, but I like, at least do the one route, follow the one route by the signs, and then on to the next. So that's awesome that these are all kind of connected that you can 
double dip almost. So I am in rural Wisconsin, a town I've never heard of before, but hey, most people have never heard of my town that I live in anyways either. So all the better just to get out and see the rest of Wisconsin because so many different parts of the state can look completely different. If you're going north or if you're going south or if you're in the Driftless region, which is like one of our favorites to ride if you're ever in the state of Wisconsin. I have not done any of the southwestern side of the state yet and I'm waiting just a little bit more into the summer because then I'm gonna really, really enjoy them. So I'm trying to get at least most of the central Wisconsin ones, including this one done, and um, then make my way down there. So, oh gosh, Whitney, I'm way too high of a gear. I feel like, hmm, I feel like I may have done this one before, but I might not have. Oh. these backcountry roads of just open farm fields, barns that probably aren't being utilized but still up and not torn down it just makes it awesome. Oh. So yeah, not sure how long this is the last one. It says three miles. I don't think I went three miles yet but no signs are pointing anywhere else. Ooh, I may have missed my turn. All right, let's call this one good and turn around and hit 24. So, thank you guys so much for watching this very short rustic road. Clearly I need to follow the signs or pay more attention to where I'm going because I'm headed into Hartman State Creek Park, which, which is awesome, but I don't have a pass for my bike. I have a pass for my car, my vehicle, and I can't take it off because it's stuck to the dash, but um, I think this takes you right back in because I've taken my daughter here. And I've actually hiked here in the winter too. It was super cool. So, all right, we're going to sign off for now. Thank you guys so much for riding along with me on these rustic roads. If you want to see any more of them, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm sharing these along with just some regular moto vlog content. So these are just the kind of fun little pop-ups that happen throughout the throughout the riding season with me. So, all right, thanks, guys. See ya. If you don't, like, you don't know your route, sometimes you'll miss the actual sign. Because right now, on this side of the road, there isn't anything except for Hartman Creek State Park, which is literally right down that road. But you can see where the end. I walk all the way up here. That's the end of the rustic road. So if you come from one direction and you completely miss it, it's likely to happen. So thankfully, if you can get your picture right away when you first see the sign, do it. <laughs> because you might miss an opportunity to actually grab the picture before. So there's some cars coming. I'm gonna start my engine and keep going, but 